to first of all search download workbench and just go to the first link here this is the official link of mysql and you can choose your operating system that is windows and just click on download and no need to log in or sign up you can just click on no thanks start my download and as you can see it is being downloaded so once this is downloaded you can just click open file hit next next again complete install and install so this will install workbench okay so it is sure it is saying workbench installation is complete so i have checked this here that means i will now launch workbench okay so now that we have workbench installed let's connect to a database and check out check that out so first of all I'll open my XAMPP and run the MySQL server here so that we have a MySQL server running. So as you can see, my MySQL server is running now. So let's connect to this MySQL server. Now you can connect to any MySQL server in any server remotely also. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to connect to that database server. And the process is the same for any database server. So I already have this, so I'll just delete this for now. Okay. So click on new and write my XAMPP connection and connection method is TCP IP itself for most of the database connections host name is my local host or you can have a server IP here where your database server is hosted and the port is 3306 this is the default port you might have your database in another port and this is the root and if you have a password you can enter password here but i don't have a password for my local database server once this is done you can click on test connect and you might get this warning because of different database versions click on continue anyway and as you can see the connection is successful so once this is done i can close it right and i can uh, click on connect to database and then select my connection if you have multiple database connections you can choose any database connection that you desire and click on OK so it is trying to connect and once it has connected OK why did my workbench crash so let's try to open this again I'm having some issues with Windows 11 so let's click on this connection now click on continue anyway and as you can see now I am here and I can see the server status here and you can see that the server is running and all that stuff so let's check out a database here so to check the database you need to move from this administration administration to schemas and as you can see here I have two databases here one is the PHP my admin that is default provided by XAMPP and this is the one I had created for test so yeah and this is uh, the list of tables here so I only have one table and you can check out the columns that we have in this table like this so I only have two columns here now to check the whole database in a tab table or style you can click on this table icon here and as you can see so this is the table these are these are the values these two are the columns and these are the values in those columns all right so yeah this is how you can connect to a database and check all the databases and tables if you have any questions let me know in the comments below.